wake up. <laughs> that is the best music to wake up to. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Hey, Shai. Hello, Sunday morning here oh, yeah. And I'm getting ready to um, head out Not really so awake yet uh, But at least it's already light outside again at this time I teach a class over Zoom at 10 I feel like it's gonna be like a little temple space Like a Zoom temple space where people just drop in and do meditation and journaling and I'll guide them through some free movement if they want to move and yeah it's nice because I get to do it now at my uncle's place who lives not too far away from here but it's a little walk because last time when I was there a week ago I left my bike outside and it was one of the first days that it, there was quite a lot of snow like a lot of snow for Belgium so my bike lock was frozen when I came back outside so my bike has been there for the whole week already been using my sister's bike but now I'm just gonna walk there and hope that it's all um, melted? probably not but I'm wanting to walk a bit oi 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 So welcome everyone, so good to have you, so special to see so many of you. I suggest we just take a couple of breaths to really fully arrive and the space so if you want to lay down on your back and take a moment to close your eyes or keep a soft gaze um, you can do that morning it has been a really snowy weekend and you can't really tell but behind the camera there is a window in my bedroom that doesn't close so it's really cold in the room I mean I'm heating it up now but overnight in the morning I woke up and I was like <sighs> and then I could see my own breath oh hey it's the morning after a really big day. Yesterday was a really big day. It was... I did this event shine with my friend Laura. It was so beautiful. It was so, so beautiful. But both of us, we came out of that event and we were like... Exhausted, like dead. For me, the event was from 10 till 4. She is in the UK, so we have time difference. but. At four, I was like, 
like <laughs> like just not working anymore like the brain was just like okay we're done <laughs> we're done for today um so i feel really really tired like i can feel that my body's really tired but i just have some planning to do for this week Reminds me so much of performances. <laughs> it's hairspray. Oh my god. It's actually not hairspray, but it smells like hairspray. It looks like hairspray. That's been a moment. Hairspray. <laughs> Lots of hairspray. Oh god. The scout better. Yeah. Hmm? yeah. Nee, niet. Allee. Ik heb de winter enorm gemist als ik in Indonesië woonde. Maar ik <laughs> heb het altijd koud nu. Het is al over. Ja, het is al over. It suddenly like struck me how much of life, of my life, of our lives is about like surviving. Sleeping enough and eating enough and moving enough and having the right connections so you can fit into this society and so much of my thoughts and so much of my worries are all all related to just staying alive like just surviving and i was laying down on my back and just got like struck by the bigness of life or like the universe yeah just like how small and how little we are but how important this all this whole thing seems to me at least and then i just started to think like what would life look like if i wasn't so focused and so all consumed by surviving like what would i focus on otherwise and what would how would my connection feel like to this big universe life anyways so um i'm in my little room i just had my morning practice i was meditating and journaling a bit but i'm actually slowly moving out of this room not everything but um i'm still gonna sleep here but i found kind of like a studio space which i'm so excited about it's such a beautiful space it's basically at my uncle's place he has an room that he doesn't use and it's so beautiful like there are wooden floors and it's like really high ceiling and so such beautiful light and he has a bunch of plant propagations going on so i'm like so excited the idea is that i'm gonna be working from there and doing schoolwork from there and probably also training there just so that there is a bit of a balance between like just like leisure time and work time if that makes sense so yeah i'm gonna bring a bunch of things i've been moving some stuff also already uh, in the last couple of days because i have a week off from school and teaching ballet classes because it's um, a holiday here in belgium this week so yeah i still am training every day and i'll teach yoga classes in the weekend but for now, for now, I have a bit more free time, so I'm moving everything. And I want to move a bunch of my art stuff for school there. And I've already moved some of my workout stuff.
タラーン<笑>ちょっと食べてみてください。ちょっと食べてみてください。ちょっと食べてみてください。ちょっと食べてみてください。ちょっと食べてみてください。ちょっと食べてみてください。ちょっと食べてみてください。ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ De zogenaamde kolonetfiguren van het Koningsportaal komen letterlijk nog niet los van hun steunfunctie in de architecturale constructie. Dat is dus een beetje wat je gezien hebt. De roze spuit.
something. <laughs> Thanks, Hayley. Um, let's figure it out together, because 